did you know that there is an embroidery cap hoop for the Brother 4x4 machines? Well, there is. Earlier this week, when I did my video about embroidering on hats, I removed the part about this hat hoop because I hadn't actually given it a fair use. So this video has that part that I removed out of that video as well as the actual review of the hat hoop. So stay tuned and see if the hat hoop will be beneficial for you. Here's the hat hoop that I ordered from off of Amazon. And this is supposed to fit a four by four hoop, all right? Here's the grid to allow you to mark where you want your embroidery to be on your hat. Uh, the back side of it is where this little channel is supposed to rest on the side of the 4x4 hoop. And this little turning wheel tightens it up against the hoop. The first problem that I had with this was when I got it, these two screws here which hold this cushion pad were too long for the side of my four by four hoop. So immediately taking it out of the box, I was unable to attach it to the hoop because those screws were too long. And you know, without going into too much explanation, trying to fit a little teeny screwdriver in here to get those screws to back out was a pain. And we're not going to use the terminology that I would rather use. Um, so I finally was able to get these screws to back out with some finagling and something that wasn't a screwdriver. Back this pad all the way up. Now, now that that's supposedly in place, the way this is supposed to work is, here's the outside of your hoop, of your 4x4. And of course, normally you have this inner ring to fit inside your 4x4 hoop where you hoop your stabilizer and your material, whatever the case may be, all right? So you take this off and what you're supposed to do is attach this to just the outside. So this becomes your inner hoop, so to speak. So what they suggest is um, attach it to, okay, so you can't fit it this way because this, this bracket is down here, so it can't, slide in there and it can't go on this end either because your metal attachment bracket is on this side so you can't hoop it that way. So the alternative would be to hoop it up top. And as you see, it snaps in, it fits down here and you screw it in place um, and you also can snap it and make it fit. So this is, this is how it's telling me to hoop the hat all right where my concern was is and this is just a hat that i picked up from dollar tree so that i could experiment on some hats today without being too terribly stressed out with how they turn out all right so we'll take this hat and the bill is supposed to go whoops under those clamps and i didn't tighten it down so let me get that fit it back inside the hoop. And this time I'm gonna tighten up this screw so that it should not come back apart, even with me flopping it around, all right? Now let's loosen these two screws so that this flap on the top comes up. Now this is not what I normally use to embroider on my hats. I, I just got this, I think about a month and a half ago. So now you're supposed to fit the bill down in this channel. All right, and then center it up. And now the hat goes and lies flat in here. Now I intentionally missed the step and I'll show you what that step is because I'm just showing you the gist of how this works. All right, so now the hat is in the hoop and it's centered and ready for you to embroider. Now, as you can see, sorry, as I was showing you, this is where it attaches to the machine. So you'll have to embroider upside down, all right? You get your design in Sew It Pro or actually you can just find a design 
load it into the machine, go into layout and rotate it to where it's upside down and embroider the hat out. Now, when I used this, I couldn't really get it to center. And let me show you what I mean. Now, here's the regular four by four grid. And I'm gonna leave this hat hoop in there to show you. So when I lay this on here, it's not quite centered. I don't know if you can see that, but see how the grid is down here against that. So I would think the square should come up some, but that puts this way above the outer hoop. Um, so my concern was if I were to use this, I would have to finagle and get it just so to have it centered. Now there is a workaround and I'll show you that here shortly, um, but not with this hat hoop. So I, I wasn't pleased with the hat hoop contraption. And to be honest, it was a long day. I got it. I was pretty excited about it. There was a slight learning curve once I figured it out um, and tried to use it. It was like, okay, you know what? I'm fed up. And so I kicked it to the curb. I probably shouldn't have done that so quickly, but I did. And I didn't really give it a fair shake. So I will at some point try it again. But um, to be fair, I've been embroidering on hats without this contraption. So I wanted to show you that, yes, there is a hat hoop that will fit the four by four. Um, and I, at some point, once I get the hang of using it and trying to get the design centered correctly, then we'll do a video on it. But I, I did want to let you know that this does exist. I don't use it, but it does exist. And um, the other thing, the step that I missed was generally you would put your stabilizer here and then use this as your inner hoop, just like you do regular stabilizer, but using this. And actually people use um, sticky back, sticky stabilizer. So what they'll do is get the sticky stabilizer and stick it to this, this little square and then hoop it on to the bigger outer hoop. And that's another drawback to using this for me. I don't use sticky stabilizer because what I've learned is sticky stabilizer does not play well or play fairly with my machine. My needle just, I mean, for whatever reason, my machine just does not like sticky stabilizer. So I limit my use of it as much as I possibly can. Although using the sticky stabilizer can prove or has proved quite helpful with getting these uh, hoops, um, these hats hooped, but I, I just don't, it, it doesn't play fair with my machine. So I don't use it. Two days later. I wanted to clarify me trying the hoop, the hat hoop that I showed you guys in that earlier clip that I did a couple of days ago. Um, that clip was an excerpt from the original You Can Embroider On Hats video. Um, I pulled out that little section because the video was actually very long. So I wanted to cut the video back some and I figured that I would use that extra little segment as um, a supplement to the video and put it online. However, today I decided to come over to the shop um, I had an order for 12 hats. I believe it was 12 hats. And I decided to come over here tonight. It's late. It's uh, 1130. And I started, I think, at like 9 um, to do some ball caps. Um, their dad hats, the trucker hats. And in doing so, I decided that I would go ahead and try the hat hoop um, that I got off of Amazon. When I was doing the video of it earlier, I said, well, it looks like it might could work. Let me give it a shot because I hadn't actually taken the time to use it. So tonight I really tried to use it and I wanted to show you guys how that turned out. Now I have some good things to say and I have some not so good things to say. 
um, but all in all it actually worked it actually worked um, here is the logo that I was doing for my customer um, and this is the hat and as you see the hat hoop is attached to it as I showed you how it attaches um, to the 4x4 hoop so this is a 4x4 hat hoop it is working on the brother 4x4 machine so if you have a 4x4 hoop that's flatbed single needle this hat hoop will work for you the thing is you have to have a good sense of what you actually want on the hat where you want it on the hat um, and be able to line that up on the machine even without embroidery design editing software all right now i'm trying to jump uh trim these jump stitches that i shouldn't have had but i was lazy so i want to take this out and show you some a couple of the things that i've done now i'm taking the uh unscrewing these so that i can pull the head off and i'm going to go ahead and pull it from off now to show you this first here is the sticky back stabilizer that I complained to you guys about in the other part of the video. I did use sticky back. Now, notice how beat up the stabilizer looked. What I ended up doing was I got one piece of sticky back stabilizer. I hooped it. All right. And after I hooped it, I kind of figured because I've heard people say you can reuse it. So I decided to try that to myself um, about reusing sticky back stabilizer. So I left it hooped and what I ended up doing was getting regular tearaway stabilizer cutting as you see it's been cut up cutting out little squares and putting it over the top of where the very first embroidery was and then just constantly so every time i hoop the hat i didn't replace the sticky back i hoop the hat and then cut out a little square and put it here and then hoop the hat and i'll show you that whole process here in a moment because i have one more hat left to do i've already done um the others and now here's a black one that i did with the gold thread and there's it, it kind of moved on me if you can see the bottom part of that S, it shifted. This is my complaint with the hat hoop uh, right here. Now, in doing it, there, okay, one positive is when you're clamping it down, and I'll show you that when I clamp the new hat, you can kind of pull the sweat band out of the way some, and when you clamp it down, it kind of keeps it in place and the sticky stabilizer helps keep the sweatband a little bit out of the way that helps as well so that's a good thing but when it's on the hat hoop um, this area down here uh, where the extra fabric is for the hat and the ridge of the hat the single needle kind of butts up against that because it's not able to, like if this was a uh, rotary cap hoop, it would keep all of that out of the way because you could actually clamp this out of the way and you could embroider pretty close to the brim. With this thing, you can't embroider close to the brim. This was two inches. This letter is like an inch and a half, this uh, design. Let me make sure I'm telling you guys right. So if you measure it, I'm sorry, it's an inch. All right. So this design is right at an inch and I put it two inches up on the hat so that it could be good and centered on the front of the hat. Well, if I wanted that down further, I wouldn't be able to because the two inches uh, and that one inch that it needs is going to butt up against the side of this and it was making it shift. This one actually was a little bit, it's like an inch and three quarters down and it made it shift it there. And that I'm, I'm really frustrated because this translate into a hat that I'm going to have to replace. I'm gonna have to eat this um, because it needs to be redone. It didn't turn out well. So that was a little frustrating um, to have to deal with. But as you see, two inches up turned out really good um lining it up was 
um, interesting, but can be done even on the machine. Um, and here's what happened because I've been using that sticky back so much. It doesn't even peel this off anymore. So I'll just tear this off. And um, I know before in my prior video, I was mentioning how I use cutaway and generally I do in this instance because I was trying to make something uh, temporary and easy to pull on and off. I did tear away. So here is a finished hat. And what I generally do is put the hat shapers back inside. So let me do that um, so that I won't forget because this is a finished customer product. I'll put that back in here. And now um, this hat can join the rest um, that are done. And here are, um, I have gray, I have maroon um, with, with gray stitching. I have the mustard color with the black stitching. Um, I showed you the black and then I also have this red with um, cream colored stitching. So here are the customer's hats that I've been working on and um, getting kind of tired because it's a little bit late, but this is the last hat. All right, so let's hoop this one together so that you can see exactly how this works. Now, again, uh, what I'm going to do for you guys is go ahead and, and loosen it up because I, even though I showed you this in the first part, I'm gonna go over it again, just so that you can see it step by step. All right, here is the outer part of the four by four. And here's the head hoop. So you take sticky back stabilizer, which is what I used here. Um, and I just basically laid the sticky back flat and then I set this on top of it and kind of pr pressed on it to make sure that it was good and secure on the back ridge of the hoop. All right. So now you take this to the top of this hoop so that the hat will be hooped upside down and you attach it inside the outer part of the hoop. Make sure it's lined up. <clears throat> One good thing, it does fit very snugly inside the hoop <clears throat> excuse me so it does work now let's twist the knob and that further locks that in place or well, actually it does lock it in place so you twist this and that pushes that padding up to lock this in place so now that's in place so your sticky back is here and it's used so we're going to have to put another square right here all right so as i mentioned prior all i was doing was just cutting out extra squares of it um i'm a miser don't like wait don't like to waste <laughs> a bunch of stabilizer so if i can reuse any part of it for anything i will so here's the uh fresh cutaway and i'm gonna just lay it right there now because i've been doing this uh the sticky back isn't quite as sticky anymore but that's not gonna hurt anything which is good all right so now this is already loosened because I took another hat off. So these knobs, you loosen these so that this flap can open up to hold the brim of the hat. Now I'm going to take out the hat cardboard hat shaper and I'm going to flatten the brim some to help me out when it's going in the hoop. Open the flap and put it in. Now for me, what I've learned is I it works really well for me when I line it up with that last row of stitches in the teeth. You'll figure out your hats, especially if you're doing more than one of the same design, you'll figure out where it needs to go so that each hat can turn out looking exactly the same for the most part. So, and then I have been eyeballing uh, where the center is and that's just me because that's how I do. And then tighten it down. You twist these knobs to tighten it down. Now that this is tightened, the uh, hat hoop did come with a guide. Um, and I was just gonna show it to you so that you could see how the guide worked on this thing. But of course, right now I can't find it. I don't think it fell on the floor. Oh well, I can't find it. But it's uh, these two knobs here are where that guide would sit after you've hooped your hat and you can see where to lay um, your design but i don't do it that way 
because I wanted to be sure. Oh, I didn't pull that sweatband out of the way before I tightened it down, but it's all right because the sticky stabilizer, you still can tuck it. I don't know if you can see that really well, but I just tuck it up under and the sticky back kind of sort of helps hold it out of the way. Um, so what I do is flatten the hat. And because I've done uh, all of the hats the same, I know to measure up two inches. So I take a tape measure, lay it on the brim of the hat. And I'm trying to do this where that you guys can see it, but I'm going to go ahead and lay this out so that you can see after I've done this. Um, so I lay the tape measure and I measure up the two inches. And once I get up to the two inches, I get a straight pin or a pin and mark it in place with a pin. So I'm going to mark this at the two inch mark. And there I have my pin in place to know exactly where this should go. Now, let me see if I can not adjust this so that you can look at my messy desk and see how I line this up. So the pin is there, it's in place. I turn it upside down and I'm going to put it on the machine. And it's a lot of hat up under here. So I was supposed to move more of this hat out the way and I didn't do it. Is my, oh, my foot wasn't even up. Ugh. Oh my gosh, it's been a long night. So my foot is up now and be careful with the pin. Make sure it doesn't get caught under the foot. Clamp the hoop in place. And I don't know if you can see that. So let me move again so that you can see the hat is in place. My pin is here. So what I'm going to do is line up the machine with the hat instead of me trying to line up the hat with the machine. What do I mean? Um, I could very easily say, oh my goodness, this isn't centered. Let me take this off, recenter it, blah, blah, blah. For what? I'm not going to do that. So let's go here where it says finish sewing. Here's my design. The design is already loaded where I want it. I have it turned upside down already. So I'm going to do layout and the needle is just past. It's more lined up to the side of the center seam of the hat. And I want the design to be centered on the hat. So to make sure that the design is centered, the design is here. I'm going to use my arrow keys and move the needle over the hoop and needle over until it's lined up with that center seam. I didn't have to unhoop it. I didn't have to move anything. And this is where I want it to go. Now, as I mentioned, the bulk of the brim is kind of frustrating for me. So I hope this turns out. What I'm going to do is move this forward a little bit. I do have it marked at two inches, but I'm going to move it up just a smidge higher. So as to avoid those issues. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and tell it to stitch because it's done. So I'm gonna put my foot down and I'm going to hit go and it's going to stitch out. And I should have cut that, but I didn't. So I'm doing the video. Now, again, it looks like it's still bumping up against the front brim of that hat because it looked like it shifted to me. Yeah, it did shift a little bit. And that, that's disheartening. That's the only downside to doing this hat hoop. Um, it, it, it does make it easy to hoop everything the same, make sure all the hats are the same. Um, you don't have to do a whole bunch of stabilizer off and on, off and on and all of that crazy mess. That's really cool. Um, you just hoop the same, you hoop the hat the exact same way line it up with the machine to make sure everything is lined up so it it does have a lot of positives to it the thing is you just have to make sure that your design is up higher than 
the needle bumping into the brim or the, the foot. It's actually not the needle, it's the back part back here where you screw in the foot that's butting up against the back of that brim and, and it's making it go kind of wonky. So hopefully this one won't. I'll show you what I mean with the bottom part of this design where you can see how it's shifted. But the cool thing was, as I mentioned, there were, what, 12 hats. I started at nine. I was messing around with music and stuff. So it wasn't just straight, complete, all the way through embroidery. Uh, the hat hoop did help. I am not gonna knock this hat hoop uh, at all as far as saying it's not beneficial at all. It is, it did work, it does help. Um, again, you just have to have the design higher up on the hat and my client doesn't want that. So, you know, but that's it. This, this is such a quick design, um, to put on here that the hat hoop actually helped. So let me fix this. The hat hoop actually helped. So we're gonna take this off now. And this is the last hat. So we unscrew it. It's now 11.46 and I'm quite tired. So I'm probably gonna sleep in tomorrow. I'm tired. i pull this off and see how that just comes off because as I mentioned, it wasn't quite sticky anymore and pull it off. And there we are done we have a finished hat hoop now when it was butting up against the uh brim i'll show you really quick as soon as i cut these stitches i want to go ahead and get them off i'm sorry it's a pet peeve of mine whoops look at that crazy thing to cut the hat so if you look at the feet of the money symbol this one foot especially see how it's crooked and it kind of lays to the side it butt up butted up against the brim of the hat so that's again disheartening but um something i'm gonna have to keep in mind and discuss with my customer about the location of the design and i have to um keep that in the forefront so there you have it here is the hat hoop let's take it off um i did try it i, I actually this is a full-fledged run i've done 12 hats on this thing tonight um none of the hats i did like i normally do on just the four by four hoop so that was pretty cool um so i will definitely say all in all this can work for you it's um it it does work it was successful again the only couple of caveats is where the design placement is on the hat also when you first get it you may have to adjust these screws so that it will fit on your hoop because my hoop was too thick for it to fit like it did out of the box so i had to adjust these screws which they have them there for that purpose the problem is finding a screwdriver that you can actually fit these little teeny itty bitty screws to back them out enough to make it usable for the brother, especially the brother hoop. Now, I don't know about the Janome 4x4 or any other 4x4 hoop uh, for other manufacturers that may be thinner. But with this one, I had to back out the screws. Other than that, it was a pretty nifty. It really worked. I was... Um, so it was suggested to me to try a different kind of hat hoop. Um, I hope to have that reviewed by the first of the month. Get a hold of that one whenever it gets here and have a video up on how to use that particular hat hoop. If you have suggestions of attachments or whatever for the brother, if you've heard of any and you're like, hey, does this really work? send me a message please let me know if you would like to see something if you would like to see a review of something please let me know um, and we will work diligently to get a video up
so that you guys can benefit from seeing something actually being put to use and if it actually worked for you because it did work for me this this really did work um i will have to review these with my customer to make sure everything is top notch for him or you know acceptable rather for him um, but that's a little frustrating to me but unfortunately that's how the cookie crumbles and embroidery sometimes you're not going to get it perfect all the time every time um in embroidery so the sooner you accept that the better off you are there are going to be um errors that you're going to have to um pay attention to all right well this wound up being 20 minutes i did not expect it to go that long so um again this was just a supplementary review of the head hoop um that is a follow-up for the prior hat video and now that it's 11:51, it just hit me that in eight minutes uh eight to nine minutes the contest will be over so i hope you guys were able to uh get in on that contest um but it will be over in a few minutes and now this video i probably won't get posted till tomorrow evening um, and tomorrow evening, we'll also see about picking the winner for the contest and then getting that information out to um, that person and seeing about shipping out their new glitter canvas so that they can give it a shot on their four by four embroidery machine. I appreciate you all for tuning in always. I love my community. I appreciate we are over a thousand subscribers. I cannot believe that. I just I'm still tripping you guys I I am so grateful I am so thankful it's been a blast I have enjoyed every moment of doing these videos so thank you so much and I want to make sure that this content is what you want what do you want to see please keep me informed if there's something you want to see let me know if there's something you want to know about let me know so that we can make sure that the videos on here is what you guys want this channel is for you all it's not for me um all of the information that i'm giving you i learned you know so i want to impart that to you and the whole point is to help you avoid some of the mistakes that i made um and to keep you from having a struggle and figure out things um when you don't have to so that's the whole point of the channel so if there's something that you're not sure of don't feel like you can't ask me a question, go ahead and ask me a question and we'll see about getting a video out as soon as possible to answer the question. I want to tell you guys, as far as this video is concerned, have a good night because I'm tired. I'm getting ready to go to bed. Uh, but I do appreciate you tuning in and watching. So you know the drill. Thank you. And until next time, <laughs> I'm tired. So you have happy embroidering. Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here to view other videos in our tutorial playlist. And click here for the next video that you should find helpful. Thank you.